Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you on how to flash AEX ROM in your uh, Xiaomi Poco phone F1. Okay guys, so make sure na unlock na po yung bootloader ng phone nyo before uh, i-flash po itong AEX ROM, okay? And uh, kung hindi pa po unlock yung bootloader ng phone nyo, I provided the link and the uh, procedure. So nasa description po below, follow nyo lang po yung uh, mga link dyan. Uh, nandyan na rin po yung mga video tutorial kung paano po i-unlock yung uh, bootloader ng phone nyo. So, once na uh, unlock na po yung bootloader nyo, uh, pwede nyo na po itong gawin at kung meron na po tayong ATWRP, uh, pwede na po natin install itong uh, AEX ROM sa Poco Phone F1. Okay? Alright. So, once na uh, unlock na po yung phone nyo at may TWRP na, so we can proceed na. Okay? Okay. So, watch carefully lang po yung mga gagawin ko. Okay guys, so proceed na po tayo sa pag-flash ng AEX ROM. So bago po pala tayo mag-flash, um, make sure na naka-turn off yung uh, password and security natin. So da dapat yan naka-off, uh, naka-remove yung uh, pattern, pin code, or yung password. So kailangan po naka-off na siya bago tayo mag-flash ng uh, AEX ROM. Kasi yan yung nagiging cause kung bakit na de-decrypt yung uh, internal storage ng phone natin. So, kailangan po natin siyang i-turn uh, off muna, okay? Alright, so once na naka-turn off na po yung uh, sa security, so proceed po tayo sa website ni AEX ROM. So, dito po sa website, uh, um, I will provide the link below. So, click nyo lang yung uh, main, main website. And, um, proceed po tayo sa download. So, ita-download po natin yung ROM. So, ito po yung dito yan. So, here, um, make sure pala na uh, i-check nyo kung anong version yung uh, naka-install sa phone nyo. So, for example, this is uh, MIUI 11.0.8. So, I'm using Android 10. So, ayan po. So, Android 10. So, ito po yung da-download natin, Android 10. So, kung Android 9 kayo, or uh, 5, naka-5 version, so, ito po yung pipiliin nyo. And then, ito po yung Android 9 na meron na pong gaps. So, ito po yung da-download nyo. So, hindi na, hindi na kayo mag-download ng ito, nitong gaps na to. So, nandito, ito po yung gaps. And then, sa Oreo, ganun din po. Kung naka-Android uh, 8 pa kayo. So, Android 10. Android 10 yung gamit ko. So, ito po yung i-download natin. So, click. And then, download lang po natin siya. Okay. So, click natin yung get build. And then, uh, download po natin siya. Okay, so once na nag-download na siya and uh, matapos yung i-download, uh, kukopyin po natin siya sa internal ng phone natin, okay? So dito naman po sa open gaps, ARM64, and then Android 10, and then uh, kahit uh, nano lang ang gamitin natin, so okay na yan. And then download. So, start download. And next, may download natin yung ito po. Uh, Android 10 Vendor and Firmware. So, kung hindi po latest yung uh, firmware ng po natin, so, download lang po natin ito. So, ganun din po. Uh, wait po tayo ng uh, 5 seconds. So, let me start. So, antayin na natin 5 seconds and uh, magda-download na po yan. Automatically. Okay. So, yan po. Alright. So, once na downloaded na lahat itong uh, files natin. So, ito na po lahat sya. So, yung vendor. Yung OSP Extended ROM 7.3 version. 
and then yung uh, open gaps so nano nano yung pinili natin kanina and then uh, magisk so i will provide the link for that and then uh, this uh, tong dfe so hindi naman natin to kailangan kung uh, na turn off na natin yung security ng phone okay okay so once na uh, download natin lahat ng kailangan so copy lang natin yung folder and uh, connect natin siya sa PC and then file transfer so copy save natin siya sa download folder okay so once na matransfer natin yung file um, magbubunta tayo sa TWRP so make sure na unlock na yung boot folder na po nyo bago tayo uh, mag proceed sa flashing so make sure na meron na rin po tayong uh, TWRP ok so ayan na po uh, check natin kung nandito yung files so So, nasa download AEX ROM file So, ayan po lahat May number nyo po siya So, uh, sunod-sunod po yung gagawin natin So, vendor um, Yung AEX ROM Then yung GAPS And then last yung MADGIS Okay? Alright, so now um, Power up po natin yung phone And then, um, boot natin siya sa TWRP. So, paano ba mag-boot up manually? So, volume up. And then, power button. Press po natin siya ng sabay. Okay. So, yan po yung TWRP. And then, um, according sa website, instruction nila is make a full wipe so wipe full wipe po ang gagawin natin so clean flash yan po so bali um, ang una natin gagawin is uh, magpa flash muna tayo ng uh, vendor okay so bakit vendor po muna Kasi once na ang phone natin is not updated sa latest firmware, so pag in-install natin yung uh, AEX agad, hindi siya, uh, kumbaga, kumbaga hindi, mag, hindi, hindi siya may install. Sasabihin nga na um, magkakaroon siya ng error na, na hindi latest firmware yung naka-flash. So kaya ang gagawin natin is uh, first, wipe muna. Okay, so advance, wipe. And then, uh, put check dito sa Dalby, cache, system, at data. So, according here, uh, system, data, cache, at Dalby. So, yan po yung mga ipa-flash natin, okay? So, yan po. So, instruction sa website. And then, uh, swipe to wipe. Okay. Okay, so, uh, dito na po tayo sa install. And then, uh, Ito po natin sinave siya sa download folder. So, ito po yung AX ROM file. So, vendor po muna yung install natin. Okay? And then, uh, swipe to confirm flash. So, antayin lang po natin siya matapos.
Okay, so wipe cache in Dalbic and then uh, go back tayo and then itong, uh, itong uh, ROM na po yung ipa flash natin so and then next uh, add more zip para direct continuous yung pag flash so open gaps and then add more zip i flash na natin yung magis so bali tatlo na po yung ipa flash nya so 3 of max of 10 files so tatlo po yung ipa flash nya uh, yung extended ROM yung gaps at yung magis so sunod sunod na po yan so swipe to confirm flash so yan po uh, A, yung extended ROM So, kung makikita nyo dito, 1 of 3. So, yan na po yung ipinaplash niya So, yung AEX ROM. And then, next is yung uh, GAPS. Okay, so, AEX, AEX pa rin yung ipinaplash. Okay, so 2 of 3 yung gaps naman. So yung open gaps. And then next yung uh, magis. Okay, so 3 of 3, so magis naman. Okay, so wipe lang natin yung cache tsaka dalbic. And then uh, reboot the system. Remember guys, um, for the first time installation, uh, this will take some time, so antayin lang po natin siya mag-boot uh, up. Okay, so yan po. Ayan na po yung uh, booting lo logo ni AEX. So, first time yan, mag reboot And then, uh, mag-load po siya ulit. So, yan yung second time.
Okay, so ayan na po yung logo. So almost 2 minutes lang po siya nagboot nagboot up. So ayan po. So everything is straightforward. So follow niyo lang po yung nasa screen, okay? So ayan po, start. And then uh connect po natin siya sa sa mobile network or sa Wi-Fi. So here, skip. So Wi-Fi, so connect po lang po sa sa Wi-Fi. Okay, so connected na po. So don't copy. Okay, so here uh, you can skip this or pwede na pong ilagay na rin yung email address niyo. So I will skip this. Okay, so accept. So here Pwede na po kayong maglagay ng uh, pattern. So, ganyan lang po. So, dito naman po, uh, secure start startup. So, huwag po natin i-yes. Ito po kasi yung uh, mag encrypt sa phone natin. So, no nyo lang. And then, uh, pwede na po tayong mag-skip muna. Okay, so skip. Alright, so ito na po yung uh, AX ROM. So here, ito na po yung extension. So, ayan na po lahat ng uh, settings ng AEX. And then yung Poco extension. So ito po, Apex mode, Display mode. Uh, dito po, pwede, pwede kayo mag-adjust uh, ng kahit ano. So pwede po siyang i- and then uh, turn on okay alright guys so that's it that's uh, the way on how to flash AEX ROM on your uh, Xiaomi Poco Phone F1 so um, thanks for watching and I, I hope you like my video and uh, you can subscribe to my channel thank you